Good afternoon, guys. Michael here with Discount Forklift Vegas. Today, I am filling in for Mr. David Vandriel out of our headquarter location in Denver, Colorado. Great dude. You're in good hands talking with him. Uh, today, we get to meet Miss Callie. Callie is your 4,000 pound capacity, three stage pneumatic tired forklift uh, with side shift and fork positioner. The tires are going to be solid pneumatics. They'll never go flat. They're solid rubber. You can take it in dirt, gravel, all sorts of different terrains. You got your safety red and yellow painted forks right up there. Uh, this is a really cool machine. It's got the fingertip controls. Uh, the first lever right here is going to be how you raise and lower. This is your tilt. This is your side shift, and that's your fork positioner. I'm going to hop on the forklift and show you all um, how that works in action. Going home with you as well, you've got your discount forklift tote bag inside the tote bag. Most importantly, you've got your discount forklift maintenance guide, which is going to be a really comprehensive uh, checklist that you can do day in and day out to make sure your forklift is going to be operating in excellent condition uh, and make sure that you, you have it for a long time. You're also getting an octane forklift ball cap, one size fits all, and then a company discount forklift t-shirt as well. So that's all going home with you. I'm gonna hand this bag off to Stephanie, our videographer, and I'll hop on the forklift and give you guys a little demo here. All right. In order to operate and start the machine, you always need to have your seatbelt on. Anytime you're not operating the lift, you wanna have the handbrake on the left-hand side pulled and engaged. Starts right up. You also have a horn with your uh, right here on your hand trigger. Also have a horn in the center as well. Your light functions are going to be right here on the on the dash. I'll release that parking brake. I'll raise that mast up, and yeah, I like to use uh, my index finger to raise and lower the mast. Middle finger would be how you tilt. Um, and I'll show you guys that a little more detail in just a second, but let's first do uh, forward and we'll do a brake test. Good, strong brakes, very responsive. Good brakes going in reverse. We're gonna whip it around, do a figure eight. This is a nice compact unit. 4,000 pound capacity. It's got a real small wheelbase so you can turn on a dime as you can see. And we're gonna run the figure eight in reverse. And this is actually a partial cab unit. It's got a nice windshield in the front. Let's go ahead and pop it in neutral and let's raise that mass to its max height. And if you have a really heavy load, you can always throttle the forklift to get more power out of it. As you get close to the top, I always like to slow down a little bit so you don't uh, slam your hydraulics. Just take good care of your machine. Coming back down, use your index finger going forward. Now we have your tilt. Let's use that middle finger as you can see right here, we'll go push forward, moves the mass forward, nice far reach, and we'll pull it back towards us, again with that middle finger. And then we have our side shift function, which is gonna be with your ring finger. And then our fork positioner is gonna be with the pinky. Very responsive, quick, smooth hydraulics. Yeah, these fingertip, fingertip controls are really great because, um, as you can see, you don't have to move and reach uh, for the levers like you do on most forklifts. So, like, if you're working a really long shift, it's going to just save you. Uh, it's just, you're going to be able to work longer without getting tired or fatigued. And so a lot of people really like these functions um, because there's minimal movement involved. We'll bring that mass back down. Tilt it forward just a little bit. Let's pull that e-brake. Hop off the machine. We'll get a nice 360 walk around of the forklift. Got your service sticker. 
right there, freshly serviced. Got the Zerks creased up, oil's been checked, filters are good. She's cleaned up and looking pretty as well. And then the spec plate is gonna be right over, right underneath the dash, right here.